Okay, so first of all, I'm going to use text split. And the text that I will be splitting is this text here. And then the column delimiter is going to be a space inside quotation marks and close brackets and enter. And this splits the text at every space, so I end up with a word in each cell. Then I want to force this text across multiple rows. So in order to do that, I am going to use wrap rows. And the text split formula will be the vector. And then for wrap count, I'm going to put in the number seven and close brackets and enter. And this forces the text to wrap across multiple rows so that there are seven words in each row. I end up with errors here at the bottom because my number of words does not evenly divide into seven. In order to get rid of these errors, I need to put in a value for pad width. And I'm going to put in quotation marks with nothing in between. So I end up with nothing in these cells at the bottom. Then I want to join the text in each row together. So I'm going to use text join for this. And the delimiter is going to be a space in quotation marks. Then for ignore empty, I'm going to select false to include empty cells. And then the text is going to be the results from this formula here and close brackets and enter. But of course, this joins all of the text back together again, and I end up back where I started. What I actually want is for the text join formula to be applied to each row individually, rather than to the whole array at once. And in order to do that, I'm going to copy this formula here. Then I will go back to this formula, and I'm going to use by row. And by row will do exactly what I want. It will make the text join formula be applied to each row individually rather than to the whole array. For the by row formula, I need to give it an array, and that is going to be the formula that I just copied. Then I need to use a lambda formula. And the lambda formula needs to have a parameter and I am going to call this array. Then the lambda formula needs to have a calculation, which is this text join formula here, except now I need to replace the cell reference with the word array. Then I need to close brackets and then close brackets again. So with this formula, the by row formula needs to have an array, and that is this formula here. But then in order for lambda to work, you have to actually give the array a name. So I have just called it array. Then you need to do a calculation using that array. So now when I press enter, you can see that the words in each row have been combined together. Now that I have this set up, I can delete this part here and drag this across. And I can now use a second lambda to turn this into a custom formula. In order to do that, I'm going to type lambda at the beginning here. And this time I need two parameters, which is the text that I want to split, and then the number of words that I want to have in each row. Then all of the rest of this is the calculation. Here I need to change the cell reference so that it is text. Then I need to replace the number seven with number. Then I can close brackets at the end. Then I need another set of open and closed brackets. And in here I need to put my two parameters. So that is the text that I want to split and then the number of words that I want in each row. And then enter. And you can see that we get the same results as we did before. Now this is all set up, I can select all of this except for the open and closed brackets at the end and copy this, then press escape to get out of that cell. 
Then I'll go to the formulas tab and I will click on define name. And in here, the name that I will give it is split text. And then in the refers to box, I will paste in the formula that I just copied and OK. And now I have a new formula that I can use. So if I type in split text, it will appear here. Then I can select the text that I want to split and I can put in the number of words that I want in each row and then close brackets and enter. And you can see that we end up with the same results as we did before. And we can test this on different text. So I'll type split text again, and then select this text here, and then put in the number of words that I want in each row. And we get these results here. And I can change the number of words in each row by changing this number here. So if I put in 15, then I end up with 15 words in each row. And if I change this to five, then I end up with just five words in each row. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to split text across multiple rows using a formula in Excel. And that is everything.